blessed people, the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, yesterday, the 10th of April, the year 2016, he spoke with me about a very important and fearful event that is coming to this land. And uh, I remember too well that when I saw a lot of blackmail on the Kenyan media, specifically the nation media, in their Nairobi news, I'm told also Taifa Leo, and they tried to rubbish the mighty, mighty miracles that Jehovah did in Lagos in the recent mission that we had in Nigeria. I remember when I saw that, I sat with the bishops right here and asked them one question. How does one stand up, get up, and raise themselves against the mighty God of Israel and his undeniable, unrefutable, unmistakable, his incontrovertible miracles, unmistakable miracles. I remember asking the Lord, why? Why would Kenya try to blackmail your servant and the mighty miracles you performed in Nigeria when Nigeria was so big in Lagos to the extent that before I left this land for two consecutive nights I gave the prophecy of what was going to happen in Nigeria. When I said, listen to me the church in Nigeria that when I come to Nigeria the land that this cloud of God that has visited is taking the church in Nigeria is not like Egypt. And I said, it is a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from heaven. And I said that twice. Meaning, as the Lord brings me there, he will bring an outpour of rain. The latter rain of the Holy Spirit. The rain of the latter revival that fell onto this land, on this land, in Buhungu Stadium. And ever since that day, Kenya has never been the same again. And I remember now when I went to Nigeria and did the mighty conference at which even the former president, General Gowan, was sitting. And the speaker of the National Assembly even sent a letter, a letter to me, and sent a member of parliament to represent him in the conference and read the letter of reception, how the National Assembly of Nigeria and the people and the government of Nigeria had received the mighty prophet of the Lord. And in that meeting on day two, I remember too well that I said, I see myself in the healing service in Lagos and it's raining on me and I said a lot of water, a lot of rain on me. And sure enough, all recorded on camera, when the next day came the healing service, very mighty healings took place in that healing service in Lagos. The person with a swollen heart, a swollen chest, all of a sudden healed and the chest shrunk back. And I kept wondering, why is this person showing me their chest after they are healed? Only to realize this chest was heavily swollen and recorded. We recorded it. The deaf ear that opened, 
the spinal cord injuries that were healed and they removed the lumbar corset. Some had a shoulder corset also. Many people diabetics that were healed. And so I asked myself, why would nation media blackmail such a mighty doing of God? And the mission in Nigeria, in Lagos, was so big because only Nigeria is second to Kenya. Nigeria is the only other country from Kenya at which I have ever gone. And the Lord caused me to prophesy before I go that the heavens would open. And when I arrive there at the conference, I give the prophecy again. And that when it comes to that day, I spoke about the day of healing. Then surely at the healing service, heaven opened and rain fell. Instant rain. And it's amazing because in that clip you see, you see me talking about rain, talking to the pastors. Remember that you are the ones with authority to bring rain to the land. And I said, not the government, not the UN, not the World Bank, not these organizations, but the church has the authority. And I said, you have the authority to bring rain, and instant the rain fell. The pulpit has power. When there is no rain in the land, you can pray and the Lord bring rain. Yes, if there is no way the government can sit and write a policy that let there be rain and it rains. So you have so much authority. You can pray when disease is coming to the land. You can pray for many things, right? So let me say this. You have power, you have authority now. Go and bring repentance because your power and authority is righteousness. So is this the rain I was seeing in the dream? So this is the rain, I was talking about in the conference also, right? So, this is the rain that I was talking about. But how could the nation media, through now, their publications, try to blackmail that mighty, mighty historic visitation of Nigeria, of the Lord in Nigeria, of the people of Nigeria. And that's why I remember so hurt that I asked the bishops here. Because of such blackmail to this ancient prophet, and this ancient God and his prophet, I said, one day I will ask the Lord to teach this land a lasting lesson. To split the land with a fault line like this, a straight fault line. And sink one side of that land, in this land. Now, I was so amazed yesterday when the Lord answered me. And in that dream, this is what I saw. I saw that I was in a healing service, put my knees on the ground, on the carpet, at the altar of the Lord, and the little crippled baby had stood up and walked. And so I knelt down to receive that baby walking towards me for the first time. And it was so wild and dramatic the way it normally is here in the healing services of the Lord. And then when the baby arrived, I had the baby and released the baby to walk again away. While I was on my knees in that dream on the red carpet at the altar of Jehovah. And then, I remember putting my head on the carpet while still kneeling, but now bending over and putting my head on the carpet and weeping very heavily. Very, very uncontrollably I wept because the Lord spoke by voice and said, look how you are helping them, but look how the nation media is blackmailing you in this land. 
in this land. And the next part of that dream, I saw an earthquake hit this land. It was a straight fault line and half the other side of the fault line sunk as though the Lord has now answered the prayer of the earthquake that I asked for to teach the land a lesson, a lasting lesson. This is the prophecy I'm giving on this day, on 11th of April, the year 2016, that now the Lord has answered my request and is bringing forth a massive earthquake to teach this nation that the ancient old holy prophet of the Lord is in this land, is walking this land. And that no mere mortal, nobody created by Jehovah can raise themselves and try to blackmail and defame God. Especially when all that the Lord ever did was to send me to bless this nation to return to righteousness, to, to stop corruption, go back to holiness, and to bring their healing, the cripples get up and walk, the blind eyes open. The deaf ears see, the, the mute speak, paralytics walk, spinal cord injuries heal, weak necks strengthened, lame legs stretched and fortified, crutches abandoned, wheelchairs abandoned, tumors dissolve, leukemias dry, cancers disappear, wounds dry up, leprosy is healed, psychotic conditions like lunacy restored. That is the only reason why I came. Now I'm giving a prophecy on this day that now this nation shall fear this prophet and his God Jehovah. Jehovah Elohim, the God of Israel. There is a massive earthquake that is now coming in response to the abuses that the nation media have done. In publishing lies and malice and blackmail and defamation and slander against the mighty prophet of the Lord when all I ever came was to do good here. When these things come to pass, then the Lord and his servant will be feared in this land. Shalom. <laughs>